By supporting our channel you support legal content on YouTube. Subscribe, click the bell and leave a like. We wish you a pleasant viewing. There can surely be no stranger woodland anywhere in the world. This realm of ambiguity is half warm murky swamp water and half lush vegetation without compare. It is a kingdom of the whisperings of water and the crackling of branches. An amphibian world found amid soft sandy islets and shallow marshes. These are the strange swamplands where a tangle of trunks, roots and branches forms the labyrinthine jungle. In its muddy waters and warm ground, life stirs in a thousand different forms. Ancestral beings live here, millions of traveling birds, and animals that forever lurk, hidden among the maze of vegetation, draping every surface and thriving everywhere. Humid subtropical climate found at the southern tip of the Florida Peninsula. An amphibious marshland. And some of the most enigmatic forests on Earth flourish. These are the Everglades, the eternal swamps. Water defines the character of this territory. It is the foundation from which the woodland and the accompanying curious landscapes surface. The heart of the Everglades lies hidden within forests of bald cypresses. A tangle of these strange cypresses' branches and trunks emerges from the muddy water. This species is a rarity among the conifers. Most cannot survive in water but these cypresses grow out of it, clinging to the mud with strong roots and buttresses. Some specimens may grow to heights of more than 30 meters. And in amongst their exposed roots, prehistoric predators lie hidden. Cayman belong to an ancient lineage that has hardly changed for 240 million years or more.
Their ecological success has meant that neither their physiognomy nor their habits have altered since that time. Neither has the role they play in this ecosystem changed. They remain the largest river and wetland predators. And in the swamps of Florida, they occupy whichever territory or habitat they like. No one is safe from their teeth. Caiman hunt by stealth or by ambush, but always with the same goal. Surprise attacks against their prey with their powerful, lightning-fast jaws. One of the reasons for the abundance of caiman here is the mild climate, essential for large, cold-blooded animals. The climate in and around the rivers and wetlands in the Everglades is subtropical, hot and humid, with temperatures averaging between 18 and 29 degrees all year round. So, it is a welcome spot for the many species of migratory birds that take refuge here during the cold winters of the Northern Hemisphere. Many flock around the edges of the wetlands on the beaches lapped by the warm Gulf of Mexico at the tip of the Florida Peninsula, where the Everglades end. During winter, these beaches fill with gulls, waders and large flocks of skimmers. This species is unusual, although when they hatch both mandibles are the same length, as they mature, the lower mandible grows much longer compared to the upper one. Another unusual feature of skimmers is the pupils of their eyes, vertical, like those of cats a unique characteristic among birds. But like many other birds, skimmers are gregarious and enjoy socializing on the shore in large congregations all along the coast. The beaches bordering the Everglades are the most common, in the sense that they are ecologically simple and similar to other beaches around the planet. Further inland, in the swamps themselves, things change dramatically. 300 species of trees grow in Florida alone, of which half are native to the region. Palms, palmettos, pines and oaks have all adapted to the water that surrounds them. The climate allows plants to flower all year round and take up home in the most unexpected of places. Lichens drape old cypress branches. And different species of lilies cover large areas of open water. 
Some flowers live for just one day. This is a high-risk strategy. The plants have only a few hours to complete their reproductive cycle, during which they rely on insects to fertilize them. In the midst of the flowers, the trees and water of the marshes, an ongoing drama takes place. The leading actors are all perfectly adapted to this amphibian world. And the frogs that are found in abundance here are often the victims. Hiding is usually an effective strategy for avoiding danger. But while crossing the swamp, this green tree frog has fallen in an unfortunate spot. In the midst of the foliage, the striking color of his skin makes him an easy target. To stay alive, he will have to flee. But a hunter has already seen him, and it seems the die is cast. But today, this little frog rides his luck. He inflates his body very quickly, and the snake, preferring to avoid the trouble someone so brave might cause, retreats. The warm, damp environment of the Everglades is perfect for amphibians, and they are found in all its habitats. For this reason, they are a vital link in the food chain. They do not even need to be alive. Small caiman, who play a vital role as scavengers as well as hunters, make the most of a rotting frog which has recently died. In this complex woodland system, Everyone has an important role. Squirrels are also an essential part of these varied woodlands. They may destroy thousands of seeds, but they also help disseminate and thus revitalize the forest by burying many more seeds in the ground. And they are especially partial to swamp oak acorns. Many of the occasional pantries where the squirrels store their supplies are forgotten about. And with these hoarding habits, the squirrels are the landscape gardeners par excellence of these forests. But not even the nimble squirrels are safe from the jaws of the caiman. They are the true rulers of these swamps. These usually slow-moving, ancient reptiles can actually reach speeds of up to 30 kilometers per hour. They will often venture deep into the forests to search for new territories. They are opportunistic, and their diet is largely determined by both the size and age of each animal and the size and availability of their prey. On the sandy islets guarded over by the dreaded caiman, pine trees grow in abundance. Here, there are several endemic species that have adapted to the wet, sandy soils of the Everglades. The fauna of the region is extremely diverse, and squirrels, very fond of delicious pine nuts, are common here. 
but also found among the branches are woodpeckers, attracted by the presence of insects. Like the squirrels, the woodpeckers prepare storerooms for hiding their little culinary treasures. They prefer to excavate the soft, fibrous trunks of the palm trees found throughout all the habitats here. There they hide their acorns and all kinds of fruit. Of course, the pine trees are also excellent observation posts. Red-shouldered hawks usually hide in the branches from where they will locate their prey, which may be any of the many small animals of the pine forest. Nothing escapes their interest. They will hunt birds, rodents, and even amphibians that stray too far from the safety of the shore. The osprey, also known as the fish hawk, does not hide like the red-shouldered hawk. This large, powerful bird watches the flat expanses of water near its lookout. Surface ripples give it precise clues as to where fish can be found. The Florida Everglades are home to 220 species of fish. For the osprey, this is one of the best places in the world to live, thanks in part to the abundance of food and in part to the tranquility of the habitats. Water is the common factor linking each element of this wild wetland jigsaw. Lakes, canals and flooded pastures are all essential parts of these eternally swamped landscapes. The shallow waters, rich in nutrients, teem with crustaceans, mollusks and invertebrates of all types and size, crabs, shrimp, snails and worms. The variety of aquatic fauna attracts a large and diverse community of birds that frequent the waters of the Everglades. Roseate spoonbills, storks, and the delicate bald ibis find nutritious, filling meals here. The osprey also visits the sometime crystalline fresh water. This is a perfect location for some grooming after its hunting forays in the seawater of the bay. If not cared for properly, its plumage would be damaged by the salt. The osprey bathes close to the bald cypress trees. This is a confident predator. Even so, caiman are close by, and the osprey's role as hunter may be inverted at any moment. These aquatic birds are a staple of the reptile's diet. Thank you. 
Like the osprey, bald stalks and spoonbills make use of the clean, fresh water to groom. But as always, they run the risk of coming under attack. The Everglades are a region full of uncertainty, a halfway place between water and land, a boggy territory that only the bravest and best prepared can hope to survive in. Not all the animals who live here belong to the terrestrial world. Manatees swim in the canals and in winter may even reach the warmer waters inland. These strange mammals were thought by the first European seagoing explorers to be sirens, more commonly known as mermaids. With the onset of the colder weather, mother and calf will slowly venture deeper into the very heart of the Everglades, looking for quiet, warmer waters. Mother and offspring will stay together for at least two years. They will spend much of that time grazing on algae and other aquatic plants, even the leaves of the trees that fringe the water. Manatees are peaceful, sociable creatures that can weigh up to half a ton. And thanks to their size and weight, not even the caiman present much of a danger to them. So the two species coexist in absolute indifference of each other. That said, caiman and manatees do have one thing in common. parental care. Cayman females, normally cold-blooded and savage, are solicitous, protective mothers who defend their eggs and their young in their early, most vulnerable days. Once the young are able to hunt insects, invertebrates or tadpoles for themselves, they are ready for life in the eternal swamp, and their mother will abandon them. Young caiman share their territory with some distant relatives, like these annelies, engaging in exuberant displays from the trunks of the marshland trees. Hidden in the heart of the swamp, among the roots and trunks of the bald cypresses, young caiman will come across countless creatures cohabiting this strange and changeable woodland.
And one of the most curious of these creatures, the bald stork, whose head looks like it has been chipped away from an old cypress tree stump, competes with a young caiman for fish and crabs. From the muddy waters where caiman lie in wait, to lichen-covered branches where bald storks sleep, life stirs in a thousand different forms. Here there is a place for everyone. It is a unique and complex universe, home to a vast collection of truly exceptional creatures, accustomed to the duality and uncertainty of life in the eternal swamps of the Everglades. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment. Support legal content on YouTube.